hey guys what's up everybody welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the apex academy of mathematics we are learning the language of the universe begins here my name is akin but you can definitely call me apex selenium and in this video tutorial which is going to be a theoretical tutorial video we are going to be talking about the sets of numbers all right so we're going to be doing a lot of discussions not much uh, mathematical calculations but more of a discussion and understanding certain theories about numbers all right now if this is your first time on my channel please of course go ahead and hit like on the button of course smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell for future video tutorial updates okay all right wonderful i also want to let you know that if you need direct contact with me wherever you are in the world please check the description box below for a link towards my um um direct messaging via whatsapp so you should see um that link down there in the box okay i also want to let you know that i offer for you online classes also by various mediums all right uh zoom um google classroom google meet and other different forums all right so do also check the description box below for that information all right all right so let's jump right into the video all right we're um we're going to be having a little bit of theoretical fun so to speak so with no further ado let's go right ahead all right so we're talking about today the sets of numbers and what are these numbers and what are the examples of these numbers now funny enough uh many students um use numbers on a daily basis right we count numbers we use numbers in our very uh, daily life schedule um every day that we encounter calculations we have to use numbers but we never truly stop to think about do these numbers have names are they categorized or do they belong to a special group what are these numbers and what are the types of numbers that we encounter on a daily basis and in this video we are going to explore that all right so please stay tuned with me on this video okay all right so the first type of number we're going to be talking about is what is a natural number and I've written a definition here for you for all the different types of numbers as you can see right here okay so it says here that a natural number or well this should be number so a natural number or numbers which are otherwise referred to as counting numbers are the set of numbers beginning at one and it ends at infinity all right and the symbol for that clearly you can see here is the symbol uh, n right here okay so n is a symbol for natural numbers and uh when i'm when i'm explaining this to a student uh, i i say to them count for me where do you naturally count from when you when, when you're counting if you're asked to count all right a student will say okay well i'll start counting from one all right so there you have it natural numbers are numbers that pretty much begins at one and it really ends at infinity all right so two things from this concept here uh, the symbol is n and it begins at one all right and here's the infinity symbol i refer to this as a sleeping eight a sleeping number eight all right good so that takes care of what a natural number is it's not that complicated now the next one that we want to look at is um what are whole numbers all right and uh there's usually a little bit of um confusion between natural and whole numbers uh, but the real difference is if you look at the examples here is the fact that whole numbers really begin at zero all right i do forgot to put that zero right here let me just indicate it for you so it's supposed to be a uh, open bracket zero one two three four and so on to infinity all right so the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers is that whole number starts at zero and that natural numbers begins at one so what does this mean what is the relationship between whole numbers and natural numbers well we can safely say that natural number is a subset of whole numbers all right all the natural numbers 
are a part of the set of whole numbers all right so that's what it means this symbol here means some set wonderful wonderful so with that being said then uh the difference is just the zero so whole numbers are the set of numbers that begins at zero and ends also at infinity natural numbers is a subset of whole numbers all right so that should be clear enough for you all right let's look at uh what are integers and we had looked at this in previous video but we did it uh via calculation do check the link in the description below for uh videos on integers but it was integer calculations we didn't really get into what are integers and the definition so here we are integers are a set of positive and negative whole numbers see i've placed here for you whole numbers integers have to be whole so you cannot have a negative decimal number and say that it's an integer and you cannot have a negative fraction and say that it's an integer no it's not a integer or integers are a set of positive and negative specifically whole numbers all right so it is represented by the symbol of course here z or the symbol i okay z or i so most of the time you're going to often see z in textbooks or even on exams and assignment papers but sometimes you do also see the symbol i all right so where it says z or i is equal to now integers start from the lowest number and here this is not a number this is a concept this is a idea so it starts from minus infinity and it has million it has infinite of amount of numbers between minus infinity and minus three now i could have chosen any set of numbers here but i just chose minus three three numbers on the left side of zero three numbers on the right side of zero so it starts from minus infinity it goes all the way up to minus three minus two minus one zero one two three then it continues until it reaches positive infinity so pretty much integers contains all the whole numbers that is in our decimal system all right are all combination of digits that makes up our decimal system all right so that's what integers are so what is the relationship between integers whole numbers and natural numbers we can safely say that natural numbers here natural number is a subset of whole number and a whole number is a set is a subset of integer all right so this is what we call a um, set builder notation or a chain all right so natural number is a subset of whole number and of course natural number and whole number is a subset of integers all right good so natural numbers represent by n whole numbers represent by w and they're both subsets of the integers which is represented by the symbol i or z all right so i hope you guys are following the content so far hope it's interesting to you do of course go ahead and uh, smash like and do not forget to subscribe to the channel uh right now okay so let's wrap this up let's move on to the next set of numbers which are called rational numbers all right so let's read this definition for you here rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed as a fraction now i need to let me just first read everything natural numbers are numbers which can be expressed as a fraction the common mistake is to say that rational numbers are a fraction now i want to pause here and i want to highlight something for you here okay i want to highlight something for you here here it says that rational numbers can be expressed as a fraction and here the common mistake is that students say rational numbers are fractions it's important you understand that rational numbers are not necessarily fractions all right so you may see a number that does not appear to be a fraction but it is a fraction for example if you see the number say seven seven is a whole number but it's, it does not look like a fraction because there is an understood denominator of one now because 7 over 1 is equal to 7 we do not need to write this understood denominator the only time we write a denominator is when the number is greater than 1 that's the only time we write it so we have numbers that may not necessarily appear as a fraction but they are actually fractions or can be expressed as a fraction so it's very important you understand that okay 
So the common mistake is to say that rational numbers are fractions, which you cannot necessarily say that. Remember, remember that all fractions are rational, but not all numbers. Sorry, please forgive me. All fractions are rational, but not all rational numbers are fractions. That's a very important statement. All right. I'll have that run across the screen for you right now. Okay, so there are numbers that does not appear as a fraction, but are fractions with an understood denominator, which we discussed earlier in the example using the number seven. All right, so please understand that the set of natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers um, are all rational. Okay, very good. Now, it is represented by the symbol Q. Q is a symbol that is used to represent rational numbers. All right, I'm often asked, why is it not R or why is it not something else? So I don't know. I really don't know how to answer that. You have to ask the great mathematicians who invented this theory before. Okay, so we're, here we have some examples. Q is equal to a half, two thirds, three fifths, four sevenths, five eighths. Just to be precise, these are all called uh, proper fractions. Okay, you do have rational numbers that are also improper like one and a half, two and two thirds, three and three fifths, four and four sevenths, five and five eighths, and so forth. So those are also rational, okay? It's also good to note that N, W, and I are subsets of Q. So natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are all subsets of rational numbers, which means that all the members that belong to natural, whole, and integers are also members of Q, which are also members of rational numbers, okay? Fantastic. So I hope you guys understand the explanation so far. If not, of course, please go ahead and uh, review the video, rewind the video so you can understand exactly what I was saying earlier. Okay. All right. Good. And uh, one, this is the second to last explanation here. What are irrational numbers? All right. Now, naturally, guys, if you put a prefix in front of a word, it gives you the opposite meaning of the word. OK, for example, if something is not possible, it is impossible. If something is not logical, it's illogical. If something is not replaceable, it's irreplaceable. So you get um, what is called a opposite meaning. All right. So. We said earlier that rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. Then, of course, irrational numbers are a set of numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction. Cannot. All right. These numbers, we say that they do not have an exact square root. Meaning, for example, the square root, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. The square root of 16 is equal to 4. The square root of uh, 25 is equal to 5. Okay, the square root of uh, 100 is equal to 10. These numbers, they all have square roots, but because they have very exact square roots, we say that these numbers are rational. Even though they have a square root symbol, they are rational because the result can be expressed as a fraction. 4 over 1, 2 over 1, 5 over 1, 10 over 1. However, you do have some numbers that also have square roots, but they do not have an exact square root, right? So take for example here, it says that all irrational numbers are decimals when you find the result, but not all decimals are irrational, okay? You have a decimal, for example, say 1.5. 1.5 1 .5 can be expressed as a fraction. It is really 3 over 2. All right, you have decimals like, uh, um, uh, say for example, um, 2.5, that's equal to 5 over 2. So you have certain decimal numbers that are not irrational, but they are, but all, what say here, it says all decimal numbers are irrational. All of them are irrational, but not all decimals are irrational, okay? So here, for example, we have the square root of 2, which, of course, we know the square root of 2 here is 1.41, okay? So the square root of 2, that's equal to 1.41421 square root of 7, that's going to give you another 
decimal here 2.64575 so you can see that all these numbers here that i've given as example when we find their end result is going to be some long non-terminating decimals it goes on forever and ever and ever all right uh the most common one here is the symbol pi which is equal to 3.142 and so on and go on further 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 okay so of course guys um it's quite straightforward here that irrational numbers are numbers that you cannot get an exact value which means that the exact value cannot be expressed as a fraction okay it's non-terminating all right good so Hopefully you guys understand that so far. Let's move on to the final one here, which is what we refer to as being uh, real numbers, okay? So what are real numbers? Real numbers are the set of rational and irrational numbers. So it's just basically like a combination of all the different types of numbers. So natural, whole, integers, rational and irrational, they are all under one umbrella which is called real numbers and this is the symbol for real numbers it's a strange looking r okay it has one here and then another sign here then it looks like that that's the symbol for real numbers so it's really kind of straightforward that this is the big man he's the he's the, he's the umbrella that covers everybody it covers natural whole integers rational and irrational numbers all right so with that being said, guys, that brings us to the end of this theoretical class talking about the different sets of numbers. Do look out for more videos talking about the types of numbers such as odd, even, prime, composite, square, cube numbers. Do look out for that video by, of course, um, if you like my explanation so far, go ahead again as I ask, smash the like button and the subscription button below and turn on your post notification bell so you can see when that video is posted all right guys so do take care and of course do check the description box below for um links to my other videos that are posted along with my personal dm and contact information for online classes anywhere across the world do take care and i'll see you next time in another video tutorial from there a a.m. Tutorial Center. Bye-bye. Take care.